Welcome to this video on market participants. In this video, you will learn about entities who trade in financial markets and their categorization. Entities who trade or invest in markets are known as market participants. They can be broadly categorized into investors and traders. An investor is a person or entity who invests in financial markets by buying financial instruments for long term purpose. A trader is a person or entity in financial markets who buys and sells financial instruments in order to earn short term profits. A person or an entity can be an investor or a trader, or both. Colloquially, in financial markets terms, trader and investors are used interchangeably. As you know, investors are individuals or professionals who trade in markets usually for the long term in order to accumulate wealth. They are further classified into institutional investors and retail investors. Institutional investors are highly knowledgeable professionals or firms who invest a large sum of money in the financial markets. The money that they use is usually not their own. That is, they invest other people's money on their behalf. Due to their large transactions, they often qualify for preferential services and lower fees. They can be mutual funds, pension funds, insurance companies, investment banks, hedge funds and so on. Retail investors are non-professional investors who buy and sell securities occasionally or at irregular intervals. Their transacting quantity is often low and traded through brokers. They usually manage their own money. Also, their investments are generally driven by their personal goals, such as retirement planning, starting a business, saving up for a child's education and so on. Now that you know about investors and their types, let's learn about traders. As you learned, Traders can be individuals or professionals, who perform trading activity frequently in financial markets. These traders use various types of analysis to base their trades. For example, a technical trader, is one who relies on past patterns in the data, to make trading decisions. Whereas a fundamental trader, bases her trading decisions on fundamental factors such as, the macroeconomic situation, firm earning, etc. Additionally, a quantitative trader employs mathematical computations and statistical analysis to perform trading activity. Traders can also be classified based on how they carry out their trades. That is, a trader punching trades manually is referred to as a manual or discretionary trader. And a trader using sophisticated tools to trade in an automated fashion is known as an algorithmic trader. Another criterion on which traders can be categorized is the asset they trade. For example, a trader involved in trading equities is known as a stock trader or an equity trader. A trader trading metal, energy products, or any such commodity is referred to as commodity trader. A trader trading currency and currency products are known as a currency trader or forex trader. And last but not least, traders trading derivative products such as futures and options are known as derivatives traders. Also, there are proprietary traders who use the capital of a proprietary trading firm, or a brokerage firm to trade, and take a cut from the profits. And retail traders are those who sit in the comfort of their homes, or office, and take positions in the markets. Additionally, based on the trading activity performed by traders, they can be further classified as a speculator, hedger, or an arbitrager. You will learn more about these roles in the upcoming unit. Usually, traders can be classified in multiple ways. Consider a trader, trading derivatives products based on technical price patterns, in an automated fashion, from the comfort of his home. Can you guess under which category a trader belongs? That is all for this video. In this video, you learned about market participants, and their classification based on various criteria.